going on? You moron! What were you thinking? Do you realize what this means? We could all be so- Alan, the, the timer must have got screwed. That place was wired to go up like a firework factory. And somebody tipped off the cops, but What's the problem, apart. fellas? Mike was supposed to torch some place in the mall, but he screwed the fuses, and now uh, the cops are crawling all over it. We gotta get our stuff and get out of here. Relax, both of you. Let me think for a second. Tommy Versetti just doesn't cut and run. The cops are gonna be going over that building with a fine-tooth comb, right? But that takes time. We gotta go in and torch that place ourselves. Yeah, but... No one but a cop could get within a mile of that place. So we go as cops. We gotta get uniforms and we're gonna need a squad car. All thanks to you, Mike. I'm sorry. I got it. All we gotta do is lure the cops in with the finger, put them in a locker, and jump them. Good plan. Let's go. All right. Okay, Lance, let's get the cops' attention. or drama so people can learn to express themselves properly by singing or pretending to be a tree. Have you ever heard a whale sing? It's a lonely form of beauty and some very ancient wisdom. Helping people to help themselves with drama and choir and flowers and my dad's money. Listen, trust fund Tommy, your ideas are pathetic. It's no wonder that mankind has woken up one day to find me in charge, amigo. Mr. Shrub, you got elected on a campaign promising to reduce taxes to zero. But under your stewardship, we've seen taxes go up by 20% and services decline. Nobody is interested in your statistics, Chavez. Let me tell you something. That's a really I shall not, I cannot stoop to your level. They assured me this was a show that understood politics, where we could debate things mano a mano. And I find myself having statistics hurled at me like so much stale confetti. We cannot boil people down to numbers. You have no idea, my friend, what it takes to serve, the sacrifices I've made to help my country, to help Vice City, the complexity of government, the, the hideousness of my wife, and the way her thighs grow like our national debt. Oh, oh, sure, some people like that, but not me. It's a nightmare, my friend, and, and I have thrown back at me. Time up again. Like Ooh, fits perfectly. Perfect. Get up a bit tight around the crotch, though. Oh, yeah, yeah, mine too, mine too. Brother, no cop drives this bad. Remember, smile at the other cops. Hey there, officer. Nice badge, nice badge. Real smooth, Lance. Okay, timers are set. Five seconds and ticking. Five seconds! We got to get the hell out of here! This pledge drive. Yes, the pledge drive. Become a member. Only members or people with radios can listen to this radio station. Now back to pressing issues. Shouldn't we give out the phone number? Like I tell the children at the library I volunteer at, look it up yourself. No, you can't go to the bathroom and stop crying. That's good advice. Now back to pressing issues. Welcome back to pressing issues with me, Maurice Chavez. On our panel, we got the secessionist lunatic John F. Hickory, liberal rich kid Callum Crayshaw, and neo-fascist congressman Alex Shrub. Gentlemen, welcome back. Let's start with you, Mr. Hickory. Why the F? For Florida. I'm a patriot. I've even got an orange grove tattooed all over my groin. Excellent. But back to the matter at hand. Public safety. 
How do we get guns under control in this city? By giving everyone hope, a dream of a better tomorrow, by encouraging people to grow their own root vegetables. What's the satisfaction of holding a gun in your hand when you could be holding a hoe, planting seeds in a peasant village? Keep your hoes and seeds to yourself. We don't need gun control. If you read the Constitution, it's a sacred document that should not be changed. Under our Constitution, women couldn't vote, but the liberals come in crying crocodile tears. We need to get scaremongers and non-believers men like you, Chavez, under control. I've got a good mind to have your funding removed. We don't get any funding. Yeah, exactly. Well, good. <laughs> you won't see a penny out of me. You've got to stop spreading these lies or I'll whip you myself. I'm not afraid. The Constitution asserts a man's right to bear arms uh, an arm bear. Please, man, don't do that. I gotta go. 